Novak Djokovic versus Yannick Sinner is the final of the ATP Finals of 2023. And both have fought hard to get to this stage. In his first round robin match, Sinner would take on the number six Sitsi Pass, who'd been in some bad form of late. And it showed as Sinner got through in straights, 6-4, 6-4. In his second match, he'd take on the world number one Novak Djokovic, a man who he'd never beaten before. But with the crowd on his side, Sinner was able to get through in three, 7-5, 6-7, 7-6. In his final match, he'd take on the number eight seed Runa, a man that he'd also never beaten before. And after in the first two sets, Sinner would eventually get through in three, 6 2, 5, 7, 6, 4, to advance to the semi finals undefeated. In the semi finals, Sinner would take on the number three, Medvedev, a man that he'd beaten twice in the last couple of meetings. And after dropping the second set, Sinner would run away with the third, 6 3, 6, 7, 6, 1, to advance to the final. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Runa in the first match. And after splitting the first two sets, he would get through in three, seven, six, six, seven, six, three. In his second match, he'd take on Sinner, a man that he'd never lost to before. But after splitting the first two sets, this time Sinner would get Djokovic, five, seven, seven, six, six, seven. In his final match, Djokovic would take on her catch, who would come in for the injured City Pass to play the final match. And with Djokovic's semi-finals on the line, he had to get the win, and he did, in three sets. 7-6, 4-6, 6-1, to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Djokovic would take on Alcaraz, a man that he'd already played three times this year in epic matchups. But on this day, Djokovic was too strong, 6-3, 6-2, to make the final. This will have only played the four times of four, with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 3-1, -head but it does include the previous meeting a couple of days ago, where Sinner got the win in a close straight sets, and of course, they have played at Wimbledon the last two years as well, with Djokovic getting the wins there. When it comes to shot quality, Novak Djokovic leads in all departments this year with an 8.1 on the serve, just ahead of Sinner's 8 for his 52-week average. He also leads in the return at 8.1, ahead of Sinner's 7.8. The forehand also to Novak, 9.2 to 8.6 from Sinner. And the backhand an 8.3 to an 8.0 in favor again of Djokovic. However, this week, Sinner's forehand is actually at a 9.0 ahead of Djokovic, who's at an 8.7. So the forehand from Sinner this week has been better, and he's also closed the gap a little bit on the backhand as well. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches, brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter, link down in the description. What a great matchup, Sinner Djokovic, the rematch. We only saw it a couple of days ago. Can Sinner replicate these results? I don't think he can. I think Djokovic is going to get the revenge in the final, and I reckon he's going to get it in three sets, but let me know in the comments below who's going to win this one.